But first, I kind of want to go through my list, you know, and I move all of these down to the second list. I'm going to move down everything here to the third list. So this is what I do, and this is how I decide which, uh, you know, what I'm supposed to be looking at through the, the week right here. Uh, I, I, I could, have, of course, do this on the weekend, uh, on, you know, Sunday evening, but I... I would much rather do it on on Monday when when my work week starts and you know I come down to my office and it's Monday and I start working and on Sundays I just you know like to do other stuff like more important stuff like spending time with family and loved ones and that sort of stuff right UK 100 now what I do is I go through this list on the you know third section I go through that list and everything I think is important I move up to the second list and then I go through the second list and I move everything important that I think is even better up to the first list and so it's a three-part process and the number one the first list that's the list where I will focus on during the week so let's look at uk 100 and basically what i do here is i look at market structure i look at the trends of the market i look at like is there a pos could there like the the first section of this scan is just going to be very quick and i'm just going to ask myself is there a possibility that there, there might be in the near term future a possible trade on this pair if so i move it up to the second list uk 100 yeah absolutely ncd chf yeah maybe so I'm just going to go through this. If it's like too messy, but there's still something here, I'm, I'm going to, it's going to be of interest. Not interesting. Uh, AD and CD, I like the trend. Uh, I like the trend here on that one. Um, Euro 50. I'm, I'm, I'm actually going to see if I can mark uh, multiple um, at the same time. No, I can't do that. All right. So Euro 50, interesting. Uh, German 40. The DAX, interesting, S&P 500, somewhat interesting. As, so I'm, I'm thinking probably every indice index is going to be interesting. And they are GBB CAD, interesting trend, interesting moves. So this is what I do is go through all these pairs right here and everything that's basically in a trend, and not in a range, gets moved up to the uh, list number two. And uh, I mean, there might be markets here that are not... What's going on here? Is this interesting? Maybe. Not really. CAD, JPY. This this is interesting because there's like a possible bullish break in market structure, but let's talk about that in a minute. ADCHF, yeah, I like that. CAD, CHF. It's in a range, definitely in a range, but there's very clear, very clear levels here. Um, so sometimes instead of moving it up to the second uh, second list, I'm just going to be adding alerts here, right? So uh, one alert up here. If it kind of breaks out, we want to look for longs. One down here. We we'll go to the next one. This is interesting. And the process is, I try to do it quite quickly, as quickly as possible. This might be interesting for short if it breaks down. This one as well. Gold, mm, yeah, if it breaks down, that's going to be short. USDCHF, not liking that one. URAD, not liking that one. USDJPY, looking great. US30 is just all over the place, not liking that one. EURCHF, there is something about this one. I'm going to move that one up. And then CHFJPY is, I like that one as well. EURJPY. Mm, possibly something in the near term future. NCD JPY, I'm going to move that up as well. Euro USD, Ethereum looks good as well. Silver, I like that. Bitcoin, um, nothing on Bitcoin. I'm going to put the alerts here. USD CAD. What about USD CAD? Yeah, there's something with USD CAD as well. And we have AD, APY. Mm, maybe. Nat gas. Well, it's a very clear range, but I don't think we're going to find a trade on that one. But anyway, GBP, the NCD, uh, you know what? No, no way. I don't like that one. All right. So now we move uh, everything that's like super interesting that we think there, there might be a trade in like today or in the next, in, in the next two days or so that that's, that's the ones we're going to, going to move up to the first list UK 100. Now what I'm thinking here is just, you know, I'm seeing this and there's like a possible break and retest here. 
that's going to be a one NCD CHF. Now, a, a, a possible trade on NCD CHF is going to be like something like this, but there's there's like some weird stuff going on in the higher time frames, and I, I don't like how this looks really. So, um, we're going to move on. AD NCD. Do I like AD NCD? Yeah, you know what? Like, there could actually be a trade if you have something like that. So, that's actually going to be a one. Euro 50. Mm. Yeah. German 40. Yes. S&P 500. No. US 100. Uh, no. Not that one either. GBP cat. Could we have a trade on GBP cat? Yeah, we could, right? We could if we if we come up here and move down. Weekly open could be TP1. So that could be a trade. GBP CHF. Do we have a trade on GBP CHF? Maybe possibly we have a trade on like we might see something like this, right? Is what I'm thinking. So that's a possible trade in the next coming days. Do we have something on GBP? GPAD, yeah, I think so as well. A move lower and a hit of the weekly open, confident with possibly the reload zone of that move, and we have a short. Even though it's like somewhat of a range, this is there's something here, right? There's something here. Well, you know what? No, there's nothing here because it's a range. Got to <laughs> think about that. NCD CAD, I'll, I like that one. It should be obvious what I'm looking at on that one. Uh, GBP USD, mm, yeah, yeah, okay. Euro GBP, not liking Euro GBP, GBP JPY, not liking that one. CAD JPY, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, so we do we move that one up. ADCHF, possible short, right? We have a possible short right here. Level here, breakdown, and that's going to be the short. So that could potentially be a trade. NCD USD, do I like NCD USD? Not really here, but we have a level here. And if we break down and retest this level conflict with the weekly open, we might want to short that level. So, you know, it, it looks a bit messy. So instead of instead of moving this up to the first list, I'm just going to be adding alerts on this one instead. Then we're going to move down to AD CAD. Now, this one is not interesting because if if the, if the daily 50 would be up here, that would be super interesting, right? They break a retest of that level. Uh, Euro CAD. Now this looks exactly like AD CAD, but like what I wanted. You have the uh, daily 50 email up here. So what I'm looking for is quite simple, right? We just want to see a move up here uh, and a confirmation. So that's going to be a one. Uh, we've got Euro CHF. Euro CHF uh, break, um, like maybe maybe something like this, and we would have a trade here. So what I would do instead is just add add alerts on this one because it's not super clear. Gold, I'm not liking gold. USDJPY now USDJPY has to has to make qu quite a move. But if you look at the daily on USDJPY, there's a massive bullish break in market structure right here. You have this downtrend right here. You have a, a higher low, higher high, higher low, and we could have something like that. So that, that this is actually. Uh, looking very, very good, but there's no trade here just yet, but we're going to add an alert right here to alert us on the breakout. And when there's an actual breakout, uh, we, 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 we might be interested in possible trade on that one. So what I can do in this case, because it's very interesting, I can move it up to the uh, top of the number, the top of the second list. So ADUSD, do we have a trade here? Only on a breakdown. So right there csf jpy now this is kind of like what the usd jpy is doing right now but we want a bigger move because what we want here is we want to have a fib from that low and then we want to see like oh it needs to go much higher for this move to be tradable using the system so we have alerts on that one ncd jpy not interesting your your usd weird don't know what's going on here i'm gonna put some alerts just for fun your ag <laughs> Range. Ethereum USD, mm, no. Silver, no. Well, silver, no. Yes, no. Yes, maybe. Okay, one. ADJPY looks like shit. We got USD CAD. Is USD CAD interesting? Do we like USD CAD? Do we like you? No, we do not. Natural gas, no. All right, so this is the list number one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we have in this list, we have 41, 
41 pairs and 11 of these. Did I say 11? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. I said 12, not 11. So out of these 41 pairs, we have uh, 12 tradable pairs. Now, how long this, did this take me? Well, around 15 minutes while doing the webinars. So with not doing the webinars, if you cut out the intro and, and me having to walk you through the process, it would probably take me 10 minutes, right? So 10 minutes every Monday morning is what I need to do my trade planning for basically the whole week. Okay, so I'm done. I'm done. Now, all I have to do is really, I need to focus on these pairs. Now, and sometimes I'm going to maybe go through the, the second list, like maybe once every other day. The third list, not interesting. I don't care about the third list. What I would do with the third list, probably add some alerts at level where I would be interesting, interested. And then I'm going to like manually scan these like once every day. And then I'm going to be... Uh, focusing a lot on the signals of the indicator and now that we have this list we can kind of if we want we can organize this list in the best trades being at the top uk 100 we also want to like add some arrows and lines on what we're actually looking at and and that would be the trade uk 100 at the top ad and cd do, do we do we do we like this one is this it's, is this even interesting what is there to to like about uh, AD and CD? So let's move. Well, you know what? I I quite like this. We we could have something like this, right? So I I like that because the trend is still intact. Euro fifty. What are we like? Like this is uh, weird, you know. But it's still it's hitting that trend line. The trend is very much alive. Double bottom. Look at the one hour, like beautiful double bottom right here. And we could have a break and read just off that double bottom. And if, if price moves up here, we would also have a break and read just off the double bottom. And that double bottom would also be confident with the reload zone. And then you see there, like top of that area, perfectly on the minus 0.618. So that's a trade. Uh, German 40. Do we like German 40? Uh, no, I'm going to remove that one. I'm going to remove that one. I'm not sure why. I just have a feeling that I should remove that one. So now we're down to 11. GBP CAD. What's the trade on GBP CAD? We have the trade on GBP CAD right here. And honestly, like if I would be doing this without you guys watching, I would probably not even add these these uh, drawing tools or anything like that unless I see that price hits that level because this is a waste of time. Why is this a waste of time? Obviously, it's not a waste of time showing you guys this. It's a waste waste of time if I would not be showing you guys this because I know where the reload zone is. I know where the 50% level is. Like, it's very easy. It's, the 50% level is in the middle. The reload zone is right above. I know where, where it is. I know that if price moves up here, I know it's interesting. So I don't have to add these levels or these drawing tools on the short until it's actually time to take a trade, right? Because we want to keep it simple. We want to be effective, uh, efficient, because I... I we we all have shit to do right when you're learning ta this is what you should be doing like hours in and not like all day just look at charts add levels and do that like obsessively for a couple of months and then you never have to do it again right it's honestly like you're gonna spend a lot of time in the beginning so you don't have to waste your life looking at charts and screens so that's that's obviously the trade and tp1 would then be weekly open like that gbp chf if there's like an obvious trade on gbp chf here not but uh not obvious so i'm actually going to move that down to the second list because it's just not obvious what i'm going to do though is i'm going to add some alerts here and then we are at ncd cad yeah so ncd cad same thing here i i do like this one uh gonna have a move up here to the reload zone uh weekly open gonna be tp1 so I like that one, GBP USD. This one has to move lower. We have to have something. We kind of have to have something like this for for there to be a trade. So this could take quite a long time to play out. But you see, we want to have that, right? We want to have a like a, a breakdown and then a rejection at the weekly open. So this is going to take a while, and for that reason, we might move that down to the. Uh, lower part of the number one list and then we had cad jpy now cad jpy has to have a pretty big move as well imagine if we have that fib uh now i'm just going to ignore that wick not not sure why i just that wick is just too big so 
this is probably something we want to look at. So we want to have a move up here and then a bounce here. So that would be a break and retest of this overall range high, this range region as well. You see something like that. Uh, so that cat JPY, I'm going to move that down as well because it's not going to play out in, in uh, unless it's like maybe one or two days. ADCHF, what's up with this one? So a lot, lot of stuff happening right here. Why do I have this one in the, the first list? Is this, does this make sense? Not at all. I'm going to move that down to the second list. Well, we, we do have like this possible short, but we're going to add alerts instead. So alerts here and alerts in the monthly open. I move that down. Your CAD, do we have all right? So we're done with your CAD. Go uh, silver, add alerts instead because this is just not clear on what's going on here. Then we had CAD JPY, I'm done with that one, and GBP GUSD. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we have eight trades, right? So from 41 pairs to eight in 20 minutes, right? Now I'm, I'm, I'm done with that. I don't really have to think about anything else. What we can do, and what I forgot about was. We should probably add some alerts. So on UK 100, alert here and alert for invalidation. AD NCD, alert above, already have alerts on that one. Uh, Euro 50, adding alerts here and one above for below for invalidation. Alert on the 50% FIB and lower for new FIB or invalidation. Alert on in the reload zone, and then one lower as well. And then we have Euro CAD. You know what, let's move that down lower a little bit like that. And then CAD JPY, we're going to be adding alerts here and here. And GBP USD on that local low and then above the reload zone for invalidation. All right, that's it. I'm done. Now, let's...